Oh God. 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 Falcon 9 is uh oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. No, not burn, don't burn into it. I don't want to go faster. Slow it down. Yeah, so Falcon 9 was a miserable failure. Okay, um, let's just try a launch again. What's up, dudes? What's up, Kerbal Knots? This is Noel on PC. We're playing some KSP, or trying to play some KSP. Last night, SpaceX finally successfully landed its Falcon 9 rocket standing upright. So I thought I'd build sort of a similar heavy-duty reusable launch rocket. And what you just saw was the first test flight. And just like the real SpaceX, it was miserable. So let's hope, like the real SpaceX, that this test flight is more uh, lucrative. Yeah, so let's uh, let's fly this fucker. Let's crash this fucker. Uh, okay, throttle. Check, check, check. Those were useless. Didn't end up needing those. I'll take those off in the final build. Uh, throttle up. And away we go. Beautiful craft. This thing has a lot of launch power. We're gonna roll just a little to the right, just a hair. We went like a, a point something of degree to the right, towards 90 degrees, just to keep up with the rotation of the Earth. I want to come basically straight back down. So hopefully this will, you know, this will do it. All right. Moment of truth. About to lose our first stage. Mm. Excuse my stretches. It's like seven in the morning. I haven't even really finished my first cup of coffee yet. All right, first stage is down. Now we're basically in a cruise. I'm gonna have to struggle just a little bit to keep the nose upright. Otherwise, it'll fall over at some point here. Things are pretty good, actually. SAS is holding strong. Yep, yeah, units are good. We got power. Good. Making power. I'm not going to fast forward. As soon as you fast forward, it just it breaks the aerodynamics, seemingly. It's very peaceful up here. It's very peaceful up here at 60,000 meters. Ooh, oh. Got some cool effects going on there. All right. Are we going back down yet? We're still going up. How far are we going to go up? That's pretty far. 86,000 meters. That is a pretty good straight up launch. Straight up isn't as good, obviously, as, you know, equatorial. You want a nice rounded equatorial launch. All right, we're slowing down like crazy. I did what I said I wouldn't do, and that's fast forward at all. Now, as you can tell, it looks like we're going to come down in the foothills. So I'm going to roll just a little this way. While we're up here at the apoapsis, we're right at the peak. So I'm just going to burn just a little bit that way. That'll probably do it. And then we want to make it vert again. We are on a descent course right now, accelerating at about 400 miles an hour. All right, we're vert. We are vert. 
I repeat, we are vert. Now the problem is, is I really don't like where we're coming down. So I should probably, I should probably burn just a little more. Maybe. Let's do, because we can up here, let's do a real true blue fast forward. Yeah, we're definitely coming down behind the KSP. The Kerbal Space Center. Let's see what that does. Okay, we're basically going straight down. I noticed a split second of straight down them. I do not want to flip. We're going to start hitting atmosphere at some point. All right, let's get vert again. Beauty. Okay. We've got the parachutes. In case we start flopping around, we can try and use them to right ourselves, but I don't plan on using them. SpaceX doesn't use them. I don't I don't think SpaceX uses them. They might use them, actually, at high altitudes for the re-entry. I'm just not 100% sure, so we're not going to use them. All right, let's... It looks like we might come down just in the hillside there. So I'm just going to do a little more burn. And the vectoring on this is too good. I wish there was a way to edit the vectoring. You know, as if to say, like, I don't want 11 degrees of vectoring. I'm okay with, like, 4 or 5. Okay, we got to go to that mode. Moment of truth, I guess. I should probably shed some of the speed, shouldn't we? I'm pretty fast. Under the 10,000 meter threshold. Get that landing gear down. Where are we going to come down? Oh, geez. We came down really close. Once again, almost crashed. Things are looking good, actually. This is this is pretty clean. The only trick is to keep that nose facing up. Because <laughs> if we start accelerating all upwards, this craft is going to want to roll over because we're trying to face retrograde. 20 meters a second. 15 meters a second. 12. 10. Eight, seven, five, three. We had a, just like the first real SpaceX launch, it's almost like we had a big gust of wind right at the last second and almost blew the craft over. What that was, was the retrograde. When you get to zero speed, that retrograde thing will flip the other way, right? Because I'm going, I'm going, I was going down at speed. So when that speed is now going up, or even just near zero. That retro will flip, so the craft wants to flip, because I was trying to point into retro. So that's that's what we saw there, is the craft wanted to roll over. So guys, just like the real SpaceX last night, we have just launched and landed our first Falcon 9 reusable rocket. So this is something we're probably gonna use in career mode. Most definitely we would use something like this in career mode. It doesn't really serve us a purpose in sandbox mode, but it sure was fun. It was a cool build. It was really fun. I will stick it in a Dropbox so you guys can download it. Guys, I hope you like the video. I hope you comment. I hope you share. I hope you do all those things you guys do as YouTubers. I hope you were excited as I was about the Falcon 9 launch last night. Tell me if you were. So, guys, until next time, peace, love, cheers.